you know guys, Instagram and TikTok can get a little bit annoying sometimes. Sometimes it gets really tiring to just look at content all day and just have your finger scroll and scroll. Not gonna lie, my finger doesn't get sore anymore because I'm used to it. But when it gets tiring, you know where I go? I go to Pinterest. I genuinely love Pinterest and Spotify. If I open Spotify and then I play a song while I'm looking at Pinterest, then my life is complete. Literally the world could be ending and I could be like sitting underneath like a broken bridge scrolling through Pinterest, even though if the world was ending, I don't think there would be any internet. But basically my feed on Pinterest is just a lot of cars, I guess like funny things and a lot of motorcycles. I'm getting a motorcycle, I don't care. <laughs> Once I have enough money and stuff, I'm getting one. I don't care if I die. I'm joking, of course I do care about that. But anyway, since that's my feed, I also get a lot of ads, obviously, cause it's Pinterest. Any social media has ads. But the ads are exactly what I don't want. <laughs> like they don't match my feed at all. So that's what this video is about. It's me having compiled a bunch of screenshots of ads I've seen on Pinterest and showing them to you. <laughs> if this video gets like 20 likes, I'll make another video like this. I have a lot of screenshots of weird ads on Pinterest. All right, let's look at the first one. It's this shirt. It's a team ad have bought from Timu before. This shirt, friends are like boobs. <laughs> this is why I took a screenshot of this. First time I read it, I read it as some, 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 R, 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 big, small, real fake. I didn't know you had to read it as some are big, some are small, some are real, some are fake. Like, I feel like that's kind of bad placement. Like I um, genuinely thought it said some, 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 Arf, 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 arf. Is the shirt barking at me? I mean, that's definitely a shirt that I guess it makes sense. Some people are bigger than other people. Peter? People. Some people are smaller than other people. Some people are real. And some are fake. Some are robots. I just find it really funny that it's like a very feminine looking shirt and it says it's for men, which is great. You know, men can wear whatever. Like this dude in the picture is like buff and has like tattoos and stuff and he's like friends are like boobs <laughs> right so here's this next ad this one was promoted by amazon um not gonna lie i don't really know why someone would want um that actually you know what i do want it bigfoot sitting on toilet funny retro metal tin sign vintage bathroom do you guys think that you'd go to like someone's house in like the 19 i don't know 70s and you'd see this this isn't very vintage i don't know i feel like this might be a little bit violating to put in a bathroom because you're basically calling your whole family big and hairy imagine gifting someone this and being like it's a picture of um you know bigfoot <laughs> um pooping you know for your bathroom because your family resembles it <laughs> i guess it's a metal tin sign so that's one thing at least it's not paper if it was paper someone would probably tear it off the wall and use it as to toilet paper all right this next one is also promoted by amazon squirt pen okay <laughs> it's for ages three plus three-year-old can use this i feel like a three-year-old would swallow that or maybe a poke their eye or they'd squirt themselves in the eye but actually though is this like for a prank or something imagine having like um a day where you have to take a test at school and you accidentally swapped out your real pencil with a squirt pen and you put it in your backpack and you go to class and you start writing and <laughs> squirts water instead and the teacher's like did you just pee on your test all right well it squirts up to 30 feet that's a lot what the heck what technology is this also just buy a squirt gun why do you need it to be a white squirt pen for some reason the ad um is called morris costumes squirt pen so i don't know who morris costumes is it does say warning choking hazard small parts not for chil for children under three years what's the difference between a two-year-old and a three-year-old i feel like they have the same mentality okay then we got this one this one was also promoted by amazon um <laughs> The head is so unproportional to the body. I find it so funny that they, did they actually Photoshop someone's face into that? VSVO, spandex open face, full body suit, Zentai suit for adults and kids. I mean, I guess this could be like a good addition to maybe a, I don't know, some sort of costume for Halloween. Maybe you want to be a rock for Halloween. Maybe you want to be the rock for Halloween, you know? I wouldn't buy it because I don't want my face to stick out and look like that. 
probably freak a lot of people out. Actually, wait, that makes sense. Maybe this is a good thing for Halloween then. Okay, this next one is something that I genuinely probably would buy if I had money. <laughs> Uncanny Brands Bob Ross Toaster. It imprints Bob Ross's face on your toast so you can eat Bob Ross. I like how it's called Uncanny Brands as if it's calling him like uncanny. Bro, it's just Bob Ross, like... Give the guy a rest. He painted some great paintings. Now this toaster gets to paint his face. But genuinely, imagine like, I don't know, going to someone's house, right? You're like, hey, um, do you have like toast or something? They're like, yep. They pull out this toaster. You're like, oh, Bob Ross is on it. That's really cute. And then like you put the toast in the thing and it pops up. It's like, like Bob Ross's face pops up over that. I'd eat it. All right, this one was also promoted by Amazon. Abraham Lincoln's fake beard was strapped. Abraham Lincoln fake beard. The way that it's packaged makes it look like it was actually his beard. Abe Lincoln's beard. And then it looks like, like some sort of almost fossilized thing. It's funny because like you could literally go to the store and buy a fake beard, just fake beard, right? And it won't be called Abraham Lincoln's fake beard. Or... You could go to Amazon and buy Abraham Lincoln's actual fake beard. My question is, um, why would you need just the beard? I feel like if somebody was buying, I don't know, an Abraham Lincoln costume, you would also have to include like the hat, maybe the actual suit. The thing is, when I first saw this, I genuinely thought that this was an ad for someone was selling a dead rat. Abraham Lincoln's beard. Just the dead rat. It's not actually Abraham Lincoln's beard, it's fake but it's made with rat hair. All right, then we got this one. Promoted by Wayfair. East Urban Home Scary Internet Meme Indoor Outdoor Throw Pillow. If somebody threw that at me, I would leave. What do they mean by internet meme? I've never seen that face before. Obviously, you know, just because the fact that I haven't seen it doesn't mean it exists as a meme somewhere. That's absolutely scary. Like, would someone get that? I wouldn't get that, to be honest. Maybe if your house is like very memeified and like you have a picture of Quandale Dingle on the wall and like your floor, your carpet is like for some reason a picture of the TikTok Riz party. Then I guess I would understand why you would buy it. Okay, and then I went to the actual website to see stuff about this. I was thinking maybe there's reviews. Well, there were no reviews. So at least nobody's bought in this. Bought in? Is boughten a word? But that what they do have is they have more versions of this pillow. And they're all extremely ugly. And they're all like $33. Okay, this next one is just like simple, just random. Bird claw beak grinding bar parrot teeth stone stick. I'm just gonna say, I thought that was something else. <laughs> Okay, this next one is the last one, and it's the funniest one I've seen, and you'll see why. Mezco It, 1990, talking Pennywise MDS Mega Scale 15-inch doll. You're telling me that thing talks? You are telling me that thing talks. No. No, no, no. I am not getting that. I am not spending what seems to be a hundred dollars on that. 15 inches. That's not even that tall. I would think maybe if it was like a big decoration that you could put outside, like a spirit Halloween clown that like jumps out at you and talks. Yeah, I mean, $100, I guess, makes sense. An animatronic. This is like 15 inches tall. I can seriously imagine that thing running around the house like Chucky. So I don't want to look at it any anymore. I went to the reviews because I was really curious to see if someone bought this thing for $100 and... Yeah, it was like 4.3 stars. I wanna read you the worst review. So Adam started the review with, what the? <laughs> if a review starts with, what the? We all know that this is gonna be, we're in for a treat. Day three of no sleep. This doll repeatedly calls my name at night. I threw it away and the silence stopped. Day four, I awoke with a feeling of relief because the doll was gone. I continued my normal day around 9 a.m. while I was pouring my coffee. Coffee? Coffee. Hardly seeing the fluid fall from the pot. Due to the steam, it was as of the boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Suddenly the door became a drum that sounded like it belonged to an angry animal charging the door for food repeatedly. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Anyway, um. All I could do was stay paused in silence as the coffee steam hits my face and rolls past my eyes. 
making me blink then boom reality hit me there was someone at my front down someone that didn't belong there someone that didn't want me in my own home the coffee pot drops making the sound of a thousand shards of glass scattering across the wooden floor in the kitchen under the fridge is where most of it went as the glass slid down blah 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 blah, blah, blah. what does this have to do with the doll <laughs> had stepped on a sharp, jagged edge of that glass that punctured my seven layers of skin, slicing through all seven as if it were just a flowing piece of tissue being sliced by a glowing pot a thousand degree knife. Um... <laughs> is Adam okay? My reaction to this review is, what the? There's more, there's like three more pages of that or something and i am not reading that all hope he's okay what does that have to do with the doll did he become possessed by the doll you know what i am never getting that thing guys if you ever thought of getting the mezco it 1990 talking pennywise mds mega scale 15 inch doll don't anyway i hope adam's okay and i um hope you like this video i'm so confused <laughs> thank you again for a thousand subscribers because i literally keep going up and down and up and down it goes from 999 to 998 and then back to like a thousand and then a thousand and one and then a thousand and two and then it goes back down to 998 and thank you again for the fifth time for a thousand subscribers <laughs> anyway i hope everyone has a great day and thank you for watching and bye